probably making more conversation with Trixie. I think that's Australia's <coughs> dog, right? Lexi. 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 Thank you, Lexi. Yeah. No, no. But she uh, should be named Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, do you know Luna? Um. And uh, are you like barking this to the dog? Yeah, yeah. So like all this <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's, it's wild. It's wild thornberries. So all all she all she hears is like, and then bark back. It's this Trixie, um, Lexi. Sorry, it's done. Um, she says, yeah, she's. <laughs> She's, um... Yeah, we should be there in a few miles! <laughs> That's yeah, great, you guys are getting of, along! She's part of Silver's pack. And then she <laughs> kind of, like, points towards Lionel's mount. And then, and then I'm kind of giggling to myself. And just, like, as if I'm, like, telling a secret, but nobody knows what I'm saying. I'm like... <laughs> and I'm like, do you know... Gala... <laughs> and then he's just like uh long pause hmm hmm, hmm. let's see if she knows I think she would but maybe not maybe not by hmm. name like, can you describe him by smell <laughs> would, would the dog know <laughs> How big is his donk? And can you describe his smell? <laughs> Hair, perhaps? What is main color? Yeah. Is is he dog? <laughs> no, he's kind of like and I like point towards Luna, but a little bit like and then I point towards uh Kiara. Because I think he's half drow. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh two legs. Hmm. Um <laughs> Do you mean, and then she, uh, yeah, she, she, she names, um, I'm trying to, like, the page isn't coming up, so that's why I'm struggling. Wait, which one is it? Uh, what's Rolf's dog's name? Oh, um, uh, Dash. Dash. Oh, uh, uh Dash's partner? Dash's partner? What? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like not not knowing and just like kind of like guessing and just like sure. <laughs> Those are words. <laughs> and again, like. Or do you mean Koo's partner? Hmm. I don't know. Galak does seem like a dash kind of person. <laughs> 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 and poor soldier just all just like because I imagine I'm because we're both on the same dog. I would be in front of her because I'm a lot shorter. Yeah, yeah. You're and, just working at her dog. Yeah, she like, just sees me like bent over, just like oh, all right. And uh, Lexi responds, "Oh, wait. Are you talking about? Uh, are you talking about me?" Because my writer and 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 uh, role for mates, but they're no longer mates. <gasps> no. Oh. <laughs> this no. might actually be a shock to her because like Luna would have told her about how like oh yeah they've been dating since they were like fourteen and they're probably gonna get married at some point. And, like, yeah, <laughs> they're no longer mates. I can smell it on them. <laughs> She did not. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Who, who and Dash are upset. They no longer get to hang out. <laughs> I was like, I don't get to see. I don't get to see Dash anymore. It's well, yeah. So like, uh, Lexi, yeah, she is sad because she doesn't get to see Dash. I miss Dash. Oh, but it's, a, it's okay, and I like rub her, and I'm just like, well, you know what? We'll find Dash together. Oh, you know what? And I like reach into my pocket and I pull out some of the berries and like make make sure Miss Realtor's not looking, but she probably is. Like, <laughs> I'm like a foot away from her and just like just do it anyways. You just see her groan. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> <sighs> Tracks. <laughs> You're exactly the way Luna says you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And <laughs> after, you know, you spend a couple days on the road, you stop and uh, make camp. And uh, so you see Airman talking with uh, Lord Mark as he, like, basically, like, formally, as he, he approaches him, and Mark says, You're one of the Maliana kids, aren't you? And Airman looks genuinely shocked, and he says, Ah, oh, yeah, I'm surprised you surprised that as he, like, looks at his clothing, which is, like, this is right. Yes. yes. Um, for those of you who don't remember, the Meliom name, name is, uh, Tarina's name, who was a previous player, Aravan's, her brother, and the Meliomnes are a no- noble family that's literally, like, just north of the Arnolds, but because the Arnolds are on the border, um, they're on, they're in the, El- the Arnolds are in the Leicester Kingdom, and the Meliomnes are in the Elven Principal. And they think they're too cool for a druid circle. Pretty much. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Aravan says, I'm really surprised that you put that together. And uh, you see Lord Mark just kind of like toe Aravan shoes, which are like really fancy and like sparkly. Um, and because like he was like the shoes he has were the shoes he was wearing as like his like formal regalia when he rescued him. And he just hasn't gotten new shoes. <laughs> Oh. Airman is just like, guy. did my shoes give me away? He's like, yeah, yeah, they did. Not very many people can afford shoes like that, man. The number of half elven families is noble families is really short. He's just like, there's spy kids um, and Nelly on the kids. So, those of you who remember, like, way back when, when Celiano was like, you're a Meliame, that's why. It's because there are, like, five half-elven nobles that are around the right age. So, like, she, and then one was Luna, and she's like, oh, this has to be the other one. <laughs> so, like, that's why she knew. Anyway. Um, and you hear them basically, like, talk about how... The Arnolds actually did try to befriend the Meliames because they're like, "Hey, you're half elven, like you have half elven children, and we're going to, we're going to have them." And they got some so somewhat far with Louise and the mother, but then after she like fell ill and was sent away, then like contact was like cut off, and Mark just couldn't get anywhere with the uh, Baron Meliames. Really private and secretive and Aravan says, yeah, that checks with, with my secretive private dad who secluded me from everyone. No. Um, <laughs> and uh, basically <clears throat> they just kind of talk about that for a little bit and um, discuss that um, Jade is, who is Luna's mom, is in the principalities trying to petition the princes to look into Tarina's death as, like, an official investigation. investigation. Yeah. So, Jade's not actually around. She's busy doing that. And, um... <clears throat> so that's kind of, like, an interesting like little conversation they have. And... After that, you guys settle down. You can see Order is... He's become really chummy with the hunters. Um, he and Lionel have, like, hit it off and are just busy goofing on, throwing, and, like, or, or, Order's playing mandolin to, like, the folk songs that they know when they're having a, just a good time. Um, they even have, like, a... Kind of like a... They start, like, dancing around the circle just for, like, funsies. And goofing off, um, you see, it, it's here when, like, things are when, um, kind of winding down that Aravan comes over and sits next to Kiara. And uh, he's like, um, hi, Kiara. Who sits next to me, Aravan? Aravan, yeah. Yeah. Hello. He like awkwardly adjusts his overly large shirt. Um, do you mind? 
ask for your advice on something? Shoot. Um, it, he kind of like just, his hair is longer, he plays with it, he's clearly very awkward and uncomfortable with this subject. See, the thing is, um, I'm not very socialized and extremely closeted in the child abuse. I mean, it, I mean, um, but see, no, that's not even important. I don't know why I bring that up. I, um, he's there. No, no, bring up whatever you wish. I am, I said shoot and you're firing away and you're doing great. He's just like, he takes a deep breath. Okay. The thing is. She does a little gesture with him when he does this. Like, oh. I think, I think I might like him. But I don't know because I I don't know people. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> um, I just know that I talked to her like three days ago and we looked at the stars and maybe saw a dragon now I'm not sure. And now I can't touch her or look at her or anything. Um <sighs> and just <sighs> and I can't talk to order about it. He never let leave it down. And he points to Lucius and he's like, I can't talk to Lucius about it. I mean, look at him. And Lucius is eating his turkey leg and somehow making it look like an art form. Yeah, like you see Glenn and it's like, ah, It's just like, and I mean, and uh, let's be honest, like, Luna's kind of, you know, got a lot going on. And while Ellie doesn't even know her own, Ellie would just want to talk about him. Ellie <laughs> talking to all of the dogs. Like, she did not. <laughs> I like to think that you've amped up enough that you have escalated from Wild Thornberry's like the girl to Donnie, and you are like, <laughs> <laughs> and like oh, there's a bang all around you. It I'm is. Like, I'm like chasing like some of like the dogs. <laughs> you are like Barking the best them. background noise. Like we didn't need any lutes or liars because the dogs are just howling and baying and it's like yeah it's like a symphony just very yeah very and big they're really it's the happy barks like they're just they're excited you got a couple of them playing you even got like some of the older dogs to start like uh like wrestling and play fighting and um, rolling around yeah Aww. like you, you talk to the dog names. You talk to Scamp, who's Rin's dog, and she. I totally do the thing what dogs do, where you know how they, um, when they want to play, they like, they like lurch, like. Oh yeah, they, they like. Paws, like. Yeah, very they, they kind of bow and. Yeah. Play bow. <laughs> and Scamp's super. Scamp's kind of like a gossip, so you get a lot of like dirt from Scamp. And... Ooh, I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> I like how, like, chatty these dogs are. <laughs> I mean, like, the dogs just don't think about the social structure. They're like, oh, yeah, this thing happened. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Lionel has a new new mate. Mm -hmm. His name is Rune, but he smells weird. Yeah, he smells weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they all agree that he smells weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that scamp and across my arms. New <laughs> <laughs> mate. Doesn't have wolf either. Mm -mm, no weird. Has a horse. <laughs> Has a horse. Has a horse. He's like, mm, horses aren't as fun. No. Mm -mm. Fun. He was like, good to race though. Yeah, good to race. <laughs> I like to think that uh, Aravin pointed out Ellie and we both were like mesmerized by the sheer chaos but like this <laughs> organized chaos yeah. of what is going on. Like it feels right. It is a little close to too much but we're like yeah, yeah, no, like, I can see why you didn't like, go straight to her. He's like... <laughs> and then he looks over, we're both just, like, nodding. Yeah, no, I can see why I'm, like, left as your only option. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, and to be fair, I, I think you give good advice. And Kiara... <laughs> her, uh, her face just sort of, like, gets a little bit darker, because, you know, it's like, all, oh, uh... And she just like she's like, oh, hmm. Let me think on it. And um and she has a moment where she has to sort of like look at Aravan and he might feel a little intimidated because she's just like staring at him. Oh yeah. He's, he's intimidated. He doesn't not know why you're staring at him. He's like, 
something. She like, sort of has a thought, looks at Lucius, looks at Luna, thinks about it. Cause right now there is a, there's 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 a little bit of a <laughs> there's there's a little bit of like a, a like a, a hedge she has hit in her head and she's just like 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 thinks about her mom and dad like <laughs> and then she just. <laughs> when you try talking to her and you can tell me if I'm prying uh-huh. if you try uh-huh. what's stopping you are you afraid you're going to say the wrong thing or are you afraid that it's just not going to land or are you actually afraid of her <laughs> what's going on where's the hold up there <sighs> He, you see him just sort of like think through it as he like had that thought like haven't even occurred to him. I just I don't I think I just have all these feelings and I don't know exactly what they mean. I mean I, they kind of feel like they're all bubbling up all at once and you want to sing, scream and run for the hills at the same time. And he, he's just like, all I know is that I think she's beautiful and kind and I think she doesn't give herself enough credit. Um, and um, I don't know how to say those things to her and uh, it just the words don't come out like I don't even know how to friendship yet and I have these feelings and Kiara does this little gesture she's like oh the words will come with time right now you want her to know that you want her to know that she's great beautiful and that you appreciate that yeah uh, yeah that, that, yeah it's a good way to say that sometimes words are not the only way that you express this if the words don't come easily it has been my experience that there is nothing wrong with allowing your actions to tell the same story. And if and when you figure out how you want to word the words, how to organize them and present them, allow them to come out. I'm under the impression that um, your actions might actually fly overhead. (laughs) Just sort of stares at Keanthi for a moment. Yeah. So you have the so you have the grace of being allowed to stumble through at least showing through action. Because at the very least, she may not notice. But that gives you time to practice a show of appreciation. And worst case scenario, if the words never do come. And she looks at him, if they never do come, if you at the very least have assured that you have acted a true friend. You see him like, that was, that was beautiful. That was, he's like, wow, that was really great advice. Thank you. She just turns a little bit red and she's just like, oh, well, um, <clears throat> thanks, you know. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I will. okay good luck (laughs) she's like good luck but you know in all things friendship I don't really think luck is as big of a hand as you need okay yeah right all right um okay uh one thing one last thing 
because I feel this ought to be said. And she just sort of like touches his shoulder, sure. leans in. In the time that you are trying to show her how you want her to show her how you feel about her, don't forget to show you in the process. You don't just do favors and then get your way. You show yourself. Okay. Give me uh, a lot to think about. But it's good, at least I know what to think about now. Thank you. The uh, night goes on, you guys settle down. I'm night. glad good. that I have Kiara as a wingman, even though I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Kiara internally panic. Uh, like, like as in, all right. How does courtship happen upstairs? I know how it is downstairs, and I can't really go off of that model because I'm, I've, I'm seeing a lot, and I'm getting the feeling it's a little bit like orange versus green. They're very different color threads, and uh, but I do have a similar experience. So at the very least, I can speak to that. So long as we don't speak about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we never speak about it? <laughs> All I know is that I, I think it's very interesting that technically, if you look at my character sheet, Kaomphi is proficient in insight and she's ma currently maxed out her wisdom skill. <laughs> but no. <laughs> just <laughs> no insight. I just, it fits her character more just to be a little bit more, ooh, you know. I mean, there's, you, there's a difference between having insight to others and then having none for yourself. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I there turned you it go, all out. There you go. In yeah. word, it is a desert. Yeah. <laughs> you can also flavor it as, like, you basically were born through divine powers, so, like. I guess so. Yeah. Never really considered that part of it. No, I'm sure Keonthi doesn't either. <laughs> yeah, and, and Rhea Track does come to speak to you through your mind directly, occasionally. Mm -hmm. I know, but either way, I, I just like the idea yeah. of Keonthi just being like, I'm just doing my best today. I like That's that too. I, I like it too. Yeah. It's fine. I think it's yeah. Um, All right, during cool. our travels, can I can I do a scene with Keonthi? Yeah. Yeah, this is an art piece. I am here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I'll like sit down with like Keonthi and be like, man, those dogs are really chatty. Like they know a lot. Like there's so many relationships like happening. For they these. love gossip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's basically what it is. I'm like, they love to gossip. And it's just like, I interpret it as gossip, but it's just them telling me like what's their going on. Their observations? Like, yeah, just, just their yeah, observations. They're just observing things. Like they tell you things like, oh, we had a good hunt. This human did that. Uh, this person had pups. Yeah. Uh, this, this person gets good treats. This one guy came into town and he had an entire cart that smelled really good, but we had to stay away from it because all of us kept on crowding the cart because it smelled so good, but we don't know what he was selling, but it just smelled so good. Yeah, I remember that day. Burr, burr, burr. I wanted to see what it was. <laughs> yeah. But, but the wind was close. Yeah. We couldn't smell it. Yeah. I'm like, so I'm like, with oh my God. I'm like, yeah, there's just such big gossip, especially Lexi. There's just a huge gossip. Yeah. And you like hear her just barking loudly in the background. Like, she's just. <laughs> very vocal animal. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Um, definitely kind of like, her eyebrows kind of go up because she like didn't really expect it. Like she heard uh, uh, Ellie talking with the animals like the whole time. Yeah. Ooh, Jinx should be on, Jinx should be on Kayanthi's lap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jinx should be there. Jinx Aww. there. Um, anyway, and so like Kayanthi is just kind of petting Jinx and she's just like, oh wow, I never expected dogs to be, what did you call them? Gossips? Yeah. They they know a lot about the relationships at Burgess. I mean, well, they do seem to be pretty close, traveling as they do, which is, I guess, in a way, kind of nice. And I'm glad that you seem to be having a good time with them. <laughs> what? Well, I'm curious. I mean, you, I know you, you weren't too close to your family, but did you have anybody special, like maybe at the monastery or? Like I know Luna has good luck, and I mean I, I, and I, I kind of blush a little bit. I'm like I kind of have Kenny, and 
I bet Kiara has someone special in the undercard, but... Oh, Kathy just takes a moment to kind of realize what's kind of special to be just like, well, I have Raheem. He was very close to me. He was very influential. Oh, you mean that? (laughs) 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 Your your comrades in in, uh, classes like flicker through your mind. There's like your grumpy old dwarf friend. And then there's like the dragonborn and just like... You know, my buds, my old pals. I'm like, well, I was pretty close with Raheem. I'm like, oh, wait. When she hears Kenny, she's like, oh, I know what that means now. Oh. And then Kathy just kind of goes like, um, like a little embarrassed and she doesn't know what to say. And she kind of just like keeps petting the cat a little faster now. Because what else? <laughs> 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 um, and she's like, oh, um, in that, if that's what you're speaking of, I. Well, I haven't really had anyone like that. I was too, too caught up in everything else. I seem to be, well, I don't know if anyone even thought of me in that way. So I'm just- I'm pretty sure there would be. I'm not be. worried about it. I mean, you're in like, I, I paused for a second. I'm like, you're, you're beautiful. Oh, well, you're so sweet, Ellie. Remember that Thank time Luna offered you birth control? I don't know what that was exactly <laughs> Wait, what was said? Remember, remember that time that Luna offered you birth control? For your hangout with Raheem? <laughs> that was so long ago. Yeah, that was a while I don't back. remember that. That was a while back. That was a while back. That was long time ago. was here. Yeah. Isn't it like pre-quarantine? I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who are you people? That was years ago. That was last generation. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Ellie would be like, I'm pretty sure there's someone that likes you. I mean, hey, maybe you should... Like, I look around, and I think the first person I would probably see is Lionel, and I'll be like, you should probably should try asking him out. We're yeah. just talking to him. Lionel is the life of the party. He conducts a lot of attention and a lot of, like, what's being talked about. Very amicable. I'm pretty sure the dogs are super chatty about Lionel. Yeah, Lionel <laughs> sees a lot of people. He's very social. He's very pheromony. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, has um, has Lionel talked to Kayampi? Probably, maybe. maybe. Yeah, he. I mean, he's like naturally friendly. So at one point, he would have come over and talked to you. Okay then. Oh. All right then. Kayampi, then we'll reflect on the lovely conversation she had with Lionel and just be like, oh, well, I don't know if I need to make any rash decisions now. Uh, plus, I'm pretty sure um, the order seemed to be taking quite a liking to him. Really, you think so? And I look towards. Well, I look for Orator. Is he talking to Lionel at all? Um, Orator is currently talking to uh, Rian. So, like, he he seems to gender is doesn't seem to like be something that is important to him. Mm-hmm. We all love we all love it. Yeah. But either way, yeah, it's Kathy just like, she seemed pretty excited to be speaking with him, so I don't know, even if I were to try and... Well, I just kind of wonder, what exactly brought this up with you? Why are you suddenly asking me about my... And she kind of giggles at this, my love life. <laughs> well, I don't know, I was talking to all the wolves, and they were talking about all the relationships between their their masters and their between them and their masters and their masters between their their wolves and they just seem to be very excited for everyone else in Perkis. You have to see the whole I don't know, I guess the whole ecosystem. People coming together, people coming apart. Well, when it comes to that sort of thing, I don't... Well, considering they're all from Verkus, the same town, yes? They obviously have a lot of the you know, times to run in with each other and to spend that time together. Uh, well, honestly, even... Kathy just kind of was quiet for a second. Well, growing up, I pretty much was pretty isolated, but just with my family. 
And then once I left my family, I found the monastery. But even there, I felt like I was still far away from people. Just, well, considering what I was running from, I felt like it was hard to really share anything. So I perhaps... Uh, Keanthi's a little embarrassed to try and like talk about the actual deep stuff of her heart yeah, yeah. with this your good in friend the, but also a bit oblivious the, yeah <laughs> and then I, I put my arm around you and I'm like oh come on you have a lot to share you have a lot to offer well it's not that I don't have a lot to offer it's just a matter of a feeling as though I could reach out perhaps not really an expert on it. I mean, I I don't even know what between me and Kenny is, but I guess you never know until you try. Are you trying to encourage me or to encourage you? <laughs> and I, I kind of scratch my head and just like uh, look, <laughs> I guess a little of both. <laughs> Well, if I ever find anything like that, I guess I'll keep your mind, I'll keep your words in mind. And if you have a chance to contact Kenny again, I hope you enjoy the time you spend with him. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find something special. Thanks. I guess I will, maybe. <laughs> No, he's choked on water because he's a dork. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Lionel probably popped up a little bit too abruptly, said something, and like uh, when he moved, almost knocked Aaron over, but he's rather graceful. So Aaron like overcorrected. Was, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bruh. <laughs> Are you okay? Bruh, just air. Right, bruh, 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 party foul. I'm sorry, my bro. You're holding the baby up. Help me up, man. He's like, help me up. Help me up. Popped him up. <laughs> That's right, he's a super tall dude. Yeah, and like, uh, so we're good to go. Okay, all right. Uh, actually, Luna, like, she doesn't want to talk to many people, but she'll probably ask um, Estrilda, like, hey, hey, where's Rolf? You guys usually aren't separable. Okay, yeah, I'll say like <laughs> a few days later, um, you actually, over time, Luna, you notice that Lionel is like deliberately avoiding Estrella. Hmm. Okay, then I'll talk to Lionel first, actually, because I first of all I want to ask him where Delok is. Yeah. Because she's like, I feel like Delok wouldn't have missed this. Like Yeah. Yeah. So um Lionel are you gonna talk to him like mid ride or like after you guys sit down for camp? After I sit down so my dad's not there, because my dad's definitely I know my dad doesn't like the lock. Okay. I don't yeah. know how That's Lionel fair. Yeah, that, so <laughs> you catch Lionel as he's unsaddling silver and he's like, Hey sis, how are you feeling? I feel like it's really really frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a it's it's it's, it's, it's a lot. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Okay. I've been better. Yeah. <sighs> Well, you're wondering where Gallup is, huh? Yeah, where is he? Okay, he like just... Well, you know how dad has this, like... You know how dad, he's like... You know how we thought he was joking about the list of... Things, um, of like... Fines, there we go. A list of fines that he has against Gallup for all the stuff he broke in our house. Wait, is Dad actually putting me behind a paywall? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's- yeah, uh, yep, he's doing it. I think it's really more just to show how far the lock will go, more than, like, the money. But yeah, um, so, because no one's good enough for his pumpkin. You, know, you both, like, roll your eyes at that. <laughs> So he and Soter and Nephi all like packed up and uh, started going to uh, like the Elven Principalities. Uh, and then after a while, Soter had to come back. Um, but Nephi and Glock went on. And as far as I know, they took some of his like 
you know, schematics for weaponry and like the uh the trebuchet. The trebuchet, yeah. That um the watermill thing. So we they took those and are trying to basically like sell the schematics to Bob River will take them. Um I've gotten a couple letters. He's actually been making like Really? Yeah. Like, it's a half belt, it's a half half drought. Call personalities. him farmer because he's got mint. Wow. <laughs> no, herbalist, sorry. He uh, started using magic to disguise himself, so he looked like evil elf. Oh. Yeah, I know it's a bummer, but at least he's making money. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I wrote back saying, hey, maybe you'll have, you know, maybe you'll have better luck. Uh, going, you know, towards the Sun-Off Empire, and so he started going, uh, east, and, uh, he was, like, man, I think he was at, like, the eastern coast when Dad said, uh, he's gonna go out and look for you, so he's, I know he's coming back real close, so, like, I think with Nephi, um, we'll be able to close the distance a lot sooner, so he should be back around the time we get back to Lucas. Otherwise he would have been here. Mm -hmm. um, so like we're we're cool, right? With me and Gels. Oh, um <sighs> he was like Yeah, we're okay. It was just it's just kind of a, like a weird thing for me. I don't really know how to process it. You know, like, you know, we grew up together and we were best friends and he was kind of like, you know, remember when we were kids and like, we kind of teased you about getting married and teased Yeah, you. we had that little ceremony. You're going, yeah. to, you're going to officiate it. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, it just, I put it as like this thing that could like never be and then it like happened. So it was, it was just really weird. And I just had to have time to process it. And I was kind of really mad that you didn't tell me for a long time. But hey, you know, it's- But I mean, wait, there's dad. You would have like, he's like, and I kind of get that now. Cause- uh, How did dad take it? He was like really mad, but he's kind of over it now. Like, I think he's like still kind of like sore. But his solution was like a wall, so. Um, What's he gonna do when Gills gets past the paywall? Uh, I mean, is there another wall? He's like, I feel well, like there's another wall. Knowing Dad, there's another wall. Um, I don't know, but. You know, we could throw the old, like, you know how dad always says, I don't know, hold to his word. So, we could throw that. That's out. true. You know? Uh, but I think... I mean, uh, I kinda... I haven't even told her about Rune, have I? I think I mentioned him once. Like, is he... Is he... What's he like? How long have you guys been... Okay, does so dad know? He's like kind of flustered and like, does dad know? So does mom knows. I'm pretty sure mom, mom knows. totally knows. Dad. Mom totally knows. Mom I've mom been knows. trying to like. I told dad like like a week ago, and he's. I think he was still like numb from you and Gills getting together, and then like me getting get together with another dude was like just like. You picked the perfect time. Yeah, it's off in the blow. <laughs> Maybe you are good at politics. <laughs> Maybe I am. He's just like... He, he just like, he like kind of poses a little bit. Let's just show our campaign poster, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> bruh. 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 Yeah, I got really. you, bruh. This is campaign slogan. Yeah. <sighs> I got you, bruh. <laughs> well, uh, You're it, my it, sister, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> So Rune, okay, so uh, he, he gets like really embarrassed. Rune's Is he just, cute? Yeah, he's like, he's like, so he has like a 
like a nice face, and but he's a different looking because uh, he's a uh, and he like snaps his fingers. Like, what is it called? Um, he uh, he has albinism. Oh, okay. So he's just, like just like a like a snow fake prince. Oh yeah, you said he was the night guard. Yeah, and like he came in like. A couple weeks after you went, saying that he just was looking for more quirk and got like a, you know, the, the, um, uh, it's not called the Hunter's Guild, it's, um, uh, the, um, jeez, you guys call it something else, it's like Beck or something, V, V, E, C, the, like, Verkus Conservatory. Oh yeah, like. Verkus Environmental, like, Conservation? Yeah. Yeah. Like Verkus Environmental Conversation. Yeah. 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 So VEC put him through the ringer, he passed. And he got put on a night watch. Yeah. Um, and, uh. <sighs> oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, how we met is kind of complicated because, uh, He gets kind of like sour faced. Did you know that Estrelder broke up with Paul? What? Yeah, I'm still kind of mad about it. Why? why? I don't know. I don't know. Ask her. Stupid. Bit, what did, like, what did they him. say? What did he, What did they? What did she say? Or what did Rolf say? I mean, Rolf doesn't get it at all. He's like been a blubbering mess for like weeks. I've just been me and him, and then. Luna just like Luna just has like a mental image of like him with all his little colorful birds that are normally around him, just like being sad and like settled down. Yeah, I was like, yeah, uh, you know how he always has like his little like birds around him, like little little beekeeper. Is it birds? <laughs> all of those birds were super sad, and I swear, like one of them turned gray. But he's just been a mess, and our, and then Gil's like went away with Nephi, and uh, like. Estrella was like, I need to find myself. Whatever that means. Like, I don't know, like, just... Ever since her dad got remarried, she's been, like, really weird. Oh, her dad got remarried? Yeah. He, Had you heard uh, about him dating someone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was dating someone. So it wasn't that out of left field? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, I don't know, it's just... That's why I've been talking to her, I just can't look her in the eye. Just, and if you saw Rolf and like, he's just a mess. Hi, this is Tiffany, your DM. Thank you for watching Dungeon Damsels. This is not the end of the session, so please stay tuned for the next part. We update on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in supporting us more, please push the subscribe button, like, or comment. We also have a Patreon, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and our show is in podcast form. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, and plenty of other podcast platforms. Thanks. We hope to hear from you soon.